Hey guys, welcome back to Fix It Philip. Thanks for watching. Today we have a 06 Ford F350 uh, with a 6.0 turbo diesel. And today we are changing the hydraulic clutch assembly. So this comes as a whole assembly, which I would highly recommend because it's already filled with fluid, it's pre-bled. So you just pop it in and you're ready to go. Uh, the original one that's in there right now, the little clips that hold in this uh, push rod to the uh, clutch pedal, the pins are actually broken inside. So whenever they release the clutch pedal, it's actually popping out. And not only that, the uh, hydraulic pressure doesn't begin until about halfway down uh, on the clutch pedal. So this is what we're gonna replace today. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Make sure you don't clip in the push rod into the master cylinder until the very end. Once you get this thing clipped in, it's not gonna come out. So we're gonna save this for last. Okay, so this is underneath the clutch pedal inside the vehicle. And as you can see here, see it's just popping right out. It's not clipped in anymore. So the clips in here are broken. And we'll take off the clutch starter safety switch here. And that just slides right off. And just pop it right off of the uh, clutch pedal here. So there's that. So there's the back side of the clutch master cylinder. So we're gonna go into the engine bay and we're gonna basically twist it about 45 degrees and that thing will pop out. So we're gonna twist it towards the uh, driver's side fender. Go just pull it out. Okay, here's the clutch slave cylinder on the driver's side of the transmission. We're just gonna put a wrench on here and twist this and this will come off too. So we're gonna pull the handle towards the transmission. And there it is, it just comes right out. Okay, we have a couple clips here on the body that are holding up the line. We just pop it out of those clips. And we have one more up here at the, at the firewall. Push that off. Now everything's disconnected. So I'm just gonna pull it all down. Get this whole assembly out of here. And there it is. The time for the new one. There's these little plastic tabs you can see here. You can feel inside the uh, the hole where it goes in to the transmission. If there's any loose pieces in there, pull them out. When you put the new one in, you leave this on. The first time you press down the clutch pedal, these will release and everything will be okay, but you don't want to take this plastic off at all. So leave this on when you put the slave cylinder on. The new one didn't come with any of these clips. There's two of them. So we're gonna take them off of the uh, the old one and put them onto the new lines okay now we're going to feed the new hydraulic system through you can do it from the top or the bottom it's up to you i'm gonna do it from the bottom make sure you put the line back where it was before I'm gonna slide these clips back on. One on the firewall. And clip this one back underneath. Okay, make sure this gasket is pushed back. And then line it up with the grooves. Then we can twist it. It twists pretty darn easy. So that's locked in. So you wanna turn it clockwise about 45 degrees until it locks. Now we'll lock in the master cylinder. Okay, so we're gonna pull this clockwise a little bit at an angle and get it in the notch. And then we're gonna twist it counterclockwise to lock it. That's locked there. And we have a little dust boot here we're just gonna squeeze that on to fit on the firewall here. Come on, little dust boot. 
go when you're home. Okay, we're all good here, so now we're gonna go back inside the vehicle and finish it up. Okay, so this is all locked in. So that's good to go. Now we're gonna slide on the the starter safety switch onto the push rod. I just wanted to show you, see this notch here? When it's all said and done, that notch needs to line up right here. So it sits nice and snug there. So let's get this push rod, slide it through. And you should feel how it's spring loaded. And then this push rod comes with the new clip. It just slides onto the clutch pedal here. Okay, now once you push on the clutch pedal, this push rod will clip right into place inside the master cylinder. There it is. Okay, now it's locked. Okay, let's just check this, make sure it's full all the way. Which it is. Okay, moment of truth, let's see. So that's good, we got pressure right from the top all the way down. So the original one, besides having a broken uh, clip for the push rod, it wouldn't react till about right here. And then you felt the hydraulic pressure. But now we have it all the way from the top. Uh, one thing to try to avoid too is when you push down, make sure you don't slide your foot off and, and this pedal springs back all the way up because you can actually break the clips inside the master cylinder. Then you're gonna have to do the whole thing all over again. All right guys, that's it for the uh, clutch master and slave cylinder assembly replacement. Hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember with Fix-It Philip, you can fix it. I'll see you next time.